Hello, my name is Melissa Daniels, and this is Strabismus to Stereopsis, a channel all about having an eye turn or a lazy eye and how to overcome that, how to get results the last. Right now we are in the middle and nearing the end of a Q&A series where I answer your questions. Today's question comes from someone who had a surgery about a year ago and had great alignment and that alignment is starting to go away. We're going to go into a little more detail about how to prevent that from happening and what she can do right now to help stop that out, that turn from coming back. Before we jump into that, I wanted to let you know you can go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com to get access to a lot of the different resources that I offer. Just barely put out a new exercise to help with peripheral fusion. That's only five bucks, super inexpensive. You can also get free quizzes and different PDFs that can help you along your journey in making decisions. You can also schedule a Zoom call with me if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one about what you're going through. Today's question comes from at Madra Plays, and she asked this question. I had strabismus surgery last year for exotropia in both eyes. Now both eyes are beginning, so I'm guessing they got straight. Now both eyes are beginning to move out again. This has happened only three weeks ago. I noticed it's happening again. Do you recommend any eye exercises to help this stop this and help improve depth perception? I'm worried now because I don't want my strabismus to come back. This is definitely a concern that so many different people have after strabismus surgery. Their eyes look straight, everything's going great, and then all of a sudden that, that alignment starts to fade and it goes back out. To know how to stop it and fix it, you have to know why that's happening. What's going on is your brain doesn't know how to use your eyes together. Having fusion between your eyes is what holds your eyes straight. That's how we keep our eyes straight is by using both of them. So even if the surgeon gets those muscles lined up perfectly and, and kind of makes it easier to align your eyes, they, they don't necessarily stay straight unless you are using them together. And that doesn't mean you have to have perfect central fusion, but even peripheral fusion can help hold that alignment. And so if you don't have that, the eye slowly drifts. In most cases of strabismus, Within 10 years, especially if you are not getting fusion between the two eyes, that eye is going to drift. That is just what happens. You talk to people and lots of them have had multiple strabismus surgeries. Now, other people who have fusion, but then the eye, you know, goes out and then they get the eyes straight again and they get fusion, those eyes normally stay straight for a lot longer. So how do you get fusion? That is the key here. That is what you need to focus on. You need to focus on getting your brain to use both of your eyes. If your brain is using both of your eyes, then automatically your eyes are going to become straight because that is the most efficient way for your brain to use your eyes. This is best done through vision therapy. Um, I can help you find a vision therapy office if you go to strabismussolutions.com slash findvt. You can fill out the form there. I send you recommendations. That is the best option. That is what you need. Where they will hopefully start is with peripheral fusion. Um, they're not going to start with like little central details. They'll start getting you to use your peripheral and use both eyes in your peripheral. And as you learn to use your eyes out here, then you slowly learn to use both eyes as you come towards the center until you have central vision with both eyes. If you are looking for ways to improve that peripheral fusion and start out here to help with that alignment, I have created a couple different resources that can really help. One is my Mastering Peripheral course. It teaches you all about the concept of how you see space and how you interpret that and how you can use peripheral vision to help with eye alignment. It really goes hand in hand with doing in-office vision therapy. I also have a great set of PDF slides called Peripheral Fusion, and it's basically just 3D exercises, and it's just very simple circles that are going to be, you know, if you're using both eyes floating away or towards you, and it helps lock in that fusion between your eyes. So there's directions and lots of instruction with both of those items. Of course, check with your doctor first to make sure that there's something that would be a good idea for you, but those would both be really great options for someone who has exotropia and the eyes maybe want to be straight, but you can't quite keep that fusion going. You've got to start working on that. 
peripherally first and then towards the central details. Hopefully that's helpful for you. If you have more questions, you can throw them into the comments. And next week is going to be our last Q&A series before we start on to a new topic. So we'll see you there.